Today is the day that I turn in this cover crop of rye. I've decided just to go ahead with it because I do need to get this site into production in about a month, hopefully less. And uh, I've been looking at the two week forecast and it just isn't looking good. So I figure I might as well do it now because it's not going to grow much if it just keeps raining. I've got a nice day of sun and dry. So now is as good a time as ever. It's about five inches tall. So that's going to be, that'll have to do. I've borrowed my friend Jordan Mars flail mower and I've mounted it up to my BCS. So what this is going to do is mow it and mulch it on the ground and then I'm going to till it in after that. All right, so that is all mowed. And the great thing about this is you can see how it just, it leaves all this ground up green stuff on the ground. So that's what I'm gonna rototill in. It, uh, you know, it's cut off at about an inch from the surface. I'd like it to get lower, but I'm not sure it's possible. I kind of made a mistake when I used my rotary plow to make these quasi raised beds when I did this last season, but doesn't matter, I'm gonna all till it up all anyways, so it uh, it might be a slight inconvenience to me when I want, if I wanna, re when I reshape the beds, but we'll see, it might actually make it easier for me. So I'm done with the rotary plow, now I'm gonna mount up the tiller and just till this ground up. plowed it up one pass. You'll notice that I was going in a square and the reason for that was it's just easier. It's easier than having to turn the tiller a full 180 each time and because all I'm really concerned about on that first pass is getting that into the ground. Um, once I start to shape the beds then I'm going to run the tiller back and forth on the pattern of those beds but to start all I need to do is grind it up so that's all that matters. So now I'm going to go over it one more time a little bit faster. So the first time I'm in second, first gear, now I'm going to go in second gear and uh, just kind of do a all once over and then I'll start forming the beds after that. Okay, got it all tilled up. Now I'm just going to work on my beds. I'm just going to walk out a center point between these two heads of sprinklers so I have something to follow. The reason I did that is because there's supposed to be 12 beds on this plot, but I eliminated all of them essentially as far as where they sit. So dividing it in half gives me a place to start on one side and the other of each half. So that way it'll be easier for me to eyeball where the beds actually go. This soil is really rocky, so I'm just kind of raking, doing a bed, then kind of raking the walkways in to hill it up a bit, then it kind of moves the dirt around a bit, exposes some of those rocks, and I'm just throwing them to the side. Really, this one side here is, is really rocky.
All right, that is it for my day. I um, I spent a lot of time forming and these reforming these beds and raking rocks. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would. So tomorrow we're going to just add a bunch of new organic matter to this stuff. We're going to put in a bunch of compost and uh, we're going to form out these beds or till them again and then tarp them or we'll wet them down. Maybe it might rain and then we'll tarp them and then that'll start the stale seed bedding process. Yeah.